Hi there, uh, this is Mikael and this is the new Mgear 3.6 so basically this version is uh, an enhancement version there is not too many new features, there is some of them but not too many and mainly we did a lot of enhancements especially in the anim picker and the, uh, the channel master so let's start by checking the, the log here so uh, we have one new feature that is the uh, new chain spring light stack master <laughs> that's a long name but basically it's just a new component that it's a spring component that can be plugged in the stack as a master so it cannot be um, like let's say slave but can be a master and that's a, because the, the long name so it's very clear for what they said so basically um, if you go to the guide manager and let's check is this this big one here, so it's three one default. So it's like the the default spring, but it has output connections, so it can be plugged to the stack channel uh, component. So for instance, I can use the chain stack or the light uh, chain stack. So I'm just gonna use the um, this one, and I'm gonna show you something else on this new one. That it's it's two, and it it's not like an, an I didn't log it as a new feature, but more like an en enhancement because it's basically the same. But this one have a new blend thing. I'm gonna show you with this one also. Okay, so I'm just gonna. Okay, my outline is here, so I'm just gonna load this one also. So now here, I can just plug my. Let's say I'm just gonna use in the global, and I can duplicate this. Oops. Three times. That's it. I'm just gonna build this one. So now basically what we have here in the channel box we have the spring system. So I'm just gonna put this to point two for instance, so it's very soft. And when I move this, so you can see the spring is this one and it's passing the spring effect to this stack system so that's it it's very simple very straightforward and yeah it's um one extra thing that we can do it's nothing right really really new on on m gear but it's a new combination let's say okay so the other thing it's this uh, light chain stack we have a new blend option so basically now we can uh, blend if we have a local and world connection or global connection we will have to slide it for each one in this case it's only work connector so you can see it's only this blend so basically you can turn off or halfway one of the connections so now you can see this one not moving at all or just a little bit so now this one have this like smooth effect or blended effect on the on the chain okay so that's uh, that for the um, New shifter chain spring light stack master long name. So we have here uh, this little gif on the um, on the release. Um, I have to make a shout out for Rutu. I don't know if I pronounce correctly your name, but I hope I'm I'm doing it correctly. Thank you so much for this uh, new improvement. And this is basically you can now set the names for your uh, joints very one by one custom so very straightforward so you go to your guide and you open the settings and you have here this new configure so now it's none say so you can configure here and it's you have this index here so you can add a few of them and let's say it's a number three or number two that's gonna be the number three here so I'm just gonna some random name here so that's it uh, I donate this one so I just or I just need to this one okay I cannot remove this one okay um just let me configure again I'm just I can remove this yeah I'm just gonna put again sample okay now it's good so now I have one set so basically now when if I just move the rig I will delete the rigs and now just building again one more time and you will see that now the join here is called sample L with lowercase L and the rest is 
the original name so you can configure your skeleton or your joints to to be exactly the names that you want so big thanks for for this uh pull request um he did it i think it's um for uh his company that's using M gear and they need to have a very specific naming conventions for for the game so it did this uh, really nice upgrade okay more stuff so let's move for the anim picker so that was uh, rafael who did these new enhancements and in order to do this um, correctly i'm just gonna go here and just open my anim picker edit so i'm just gonna create a new one i'm just gonna create some objects here some random cubes like this i'm gonna create a new anim picker the full name we have it there so the first thing is now we can select bunch of objects in order and we can create um the the items in like in a batch so we have add item that we have the before and you can add um uh, add with select means okay well, i'm just gonna show you so first i'm just gonna add item so you have here the new item and if you open the the options there is nothing configured it's just blank item so that, nothing new if i select now use add with select when i double click the cube it's already fit as a selection so when i use this i can i can test it and click it and it's gonna work and then there is the other option so i'm just gonna select a bunch so you can see so now i can items per selection so this is gonna be adding the items per selection so it's gonna add three and the order is gonna be same so here um in the control association you can select so it's gonna show you exactly which one is selected and you can see here that it's matching the order that i used to select and of course i can select three just let me remove this one here so you can select three and add with selected if i have only one so means it's only one but this time it's gonna have three the three cubes here so it's a very uh, fast way to create um new pickers or uh, improve the default ones from or adding new new uh, elements um the other uh feature that rafael added it's this new um auto opacity so now we, before we had this opacity that's uh, very convenient sometimes when you have some characters and or um uh, you don't want to to occlude your view and it's it's very very convenient but of course sometimes it's hard to see what i'm um, picking so with the auto opacity now when i go over it's gonna become um full um like opaque and i can select easily and then when i move my mouse out it's gonna become a little bit transparent or depending on your your slider here and it's gonna show what uh, what it has behind so it's very very useful um new feature i think it's uh, gonna be very nice for the animators and the last thing but not less it's before was a bug um that when you move your window size and now you try to save this window was like a little offset and you need to scale this bigger to see where is the the buttons and everything now it's fixed it. that's also rafael who did it and yeah that's it for the anim picker thing and should let me check it out so we have the picker menu select home turn so yeah that's it i don't th i think i don't forget anything and i think the last thing here it's the the channel master that has a few improvements so that was my part for this release so i'm just gonna go to the channel master and the first thing it's like before when we had let's say i'm just gonna create a new node so i'm just gonna call sample node and i'm just gonna create a new tab that it's gonna have i'm oh, sorry the tab name is gonna be test and i'm just gonna add from this object just a few channels i'll just add the channels remember save current node and now that i have this save and i can set a few keyframes so 
Oh, nice. I don't have my slider here. This is my dev environment. Okay, I'll just uh, time slider. Thank you. So I go to another. I just random chains. It's not important, the, the values. It's just to show you. And before, when you scrap, this was updating, but now it's only updating on demand. So only when I move on top, it's going to be updated. That was because even um, I, I thought at the beginning that scrubbing is not that bad if you lose performance. Uh, I have a request from, from the animators in the studio that uh, they need this performance even when it's scrubbing. So I just removed this uh, callback that was doing this update. If you want the callback, it's still there. It's just you need to go to display and you just need to click this update values while scrubbing. So that's it, it's activated now. So now when I move, you can see now my all my sliders are updating the, the values. So you, you have exactly the same, but by default, it's it's turned off because it has a, a little, I mean, the performance it's affected by that. So now it's only on demand by default. Okay, so that's one of the the new features. Um, the other feature is that we can now change the channel order. That's a, probably one of the most interesting ones. So basically you can edit the channel order, so it's very easy. You drag and drop. You can select with shift or with control a bunch and change the, the order. So if I select, like let's say these two random and put it last, so it's gonna move like this or there and apply. So when you apply, change the order. If you don't save the node, or you refresh here, it's gonna lose this order. So just remember, you need to save the current node. Okay, so now that I have this, the other thing I want to show you, it's the new color uh, automatization that we have. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna add more channels from other objects. So I'm just gonna select this and this. So I have a bunch of channels from different objects. And uh, now just save this, it's cool. And now, so we have, an auto um, color coding. So first I need to select which one I want to, to color code so I can use shift selection. And I didn't make it at automatically for everything from by default because sometimes maybe you will see you don't like the color that is automatically assigning to you so you want to select a subset and change again. So, But basically just right click and you have the, the menu that have a little change in the order now. Um, but you have the set color that was before and now you have auto color by host. So the host means the the owner of the channel. So in this case, we have three cubes. So when I click this button, and of course I unselect everything, you see there's three colors coding for each one of these uh, hosts. So of course, I don't like this color. I can just right click again and um, auto color again. And I got another random color. I try to, to keep the values a bit low in the, in the value. So I mean, you don't, you will not get like a very high contrast or uh, saturated uh, colors. So hopefully it's gonna be always like something that it's not uh, burning your eyes. But yeah, you can, let's say, I don't like this green, so I just can go here and try another one. So random blue, okay. And the other thing is the auto color for axis. So in this case, we have X, Y, Z. So basically it's taking the last part of the name and if it's Y, X or Z, it's gonna try to color by axis, so you have this kind of color coding that represents the, the color coding that you use in the, in the manipulators also. So red for X, uh, Y, uh, it's gonna be green, and Z, it's gonna be blue. So that's it. Um, it's very simple, but it's gonna help a lot, I think, with the um, organization when you need to uh, visually have this uh, feedback. And of course, if you want to keep the colors, just remember, save this tools change the configuration, but doesn't save. You need to specifically say, I want to save this configuration. And that's a good thing. If you mistake by any chance, you just need to refresh and it's gonna fall back to the old configuration. Okay, so more things that has been changed on the channel master. Now the copy paste, it works by default on selection. And remember, copy paste, but copy the actual value and paste and keyframe. So that's something I didn't say probably in the in the previous um, video. On the, I'm not sure if in the documentation, but when you copy, let's say I don't have keyframes here, so I'm just gonna copy this, copy, and I go to another frame, and I can paste. So you see now I'm pasting the same values, but it's keyframing. So that's important. And the other thing is now, 
and you can see the the copy paste works on the um and selection I, I don't know if i repeat myself now here but basically before was copying all the the values that you have on the tab now the keyframe i mean you can copy paste all the values all the channels here so you can activate this and it's going to work for all or by default it's off so it's going to work on selection so what happens if you have like selection doesn't match so if the selection doesn't match with the buffer it's going to warning you that the, the buffer it's five values but you have three selects so it cannot paste and it has an advantage so why i don't value well you need to to be careful with that but the other thing is like maybe you can copy one value and paste one value and it's gonna gonna paste the same so it has some advantages um but yeah it expects to have same um values that you copy on that in the same values uh, same number of values that you paste but it can be any like value so you can change the selection but uh, probably you don't want to do that and also of course the selection order it's uh, very important because if you change the selection it's going to flip your values it's just the buffer it doesn't understand what it has it just holds the values but doesn't hold the owners the owners is just a list of the selection okay so that's it so let me check the release notes i don't forget anything so we have the auto color the channel order we can turn off the real update uh, real time updates and yeah the copy paste thing uh yeah the soft tweak has a new option but it's very it's very simple um i have my release here so basically it's this one so basically um you can see here um this effect so basically when you create a soft tweak now you can turn on and off the surface mode thing so by default it's um um uh, by um volume so it means this object is a combination of three uh, torus or donuts and by default it's going to work as one object so you don't see the difference but now with this surface mode you can um, turn that on and it's going to affect let's say the the, the original uh, shelf that it's affected by this um, uh, soft uh, tweak so that's something that is uh, default in the soft tweaks but now it's exposed for the animators so that's it it's very simple but very useful and yeah that's um no yeah i think that's all the order and the channel some bug fixes there and yeah i think that's it so I hope you enjoy this new release and thank you again to Rutu, Rafael and everybody to, that it's helping uh, MGR development. Also, big shout out to Anima Studio for um, supporting us on this de uh, MGR development and see you in the next video. Bye bye.